thing. Okay. Um, I said we were almost done with section 10.2. We'll do telescoping series quick. It's standard material, but I don't think it shows up in. And enough applications to want to really fight with it. Um, but what is a telescoping series? Where, well, this is an informal definition, but it's a series where most of Terms in the partial sums and so and we can take. the limits as a result. So I've said that usually thinking of series as limits of partial sums, it is the correct definition, but it's not necessarily that useful in actually de making determinations. Does a series converge? Does a series not? Um, Telescoping series, kind of um, an exception to this. As I mentioned, they're not super common, but not super common in like the real world, but like the sum from one to infinity of one over n minus one over n plus one. This is an example of a telescoping series. And the, um, the word telescoping here, I don't know if this is something that people actually uh, have in the modern day, but uh, the visual is a collapsible telescope. So you have a telescope and you can collapse it down, it folds into itself. We look at the partial sums. Remember what these partial sums are. S sub one is what you get if you erase doing if you erase that infinity symbol and replace it with one. S sub two is what you get if you erase this infinity symbol and replace it with two and so on. And S sub two is, well, we've got the one term. And now we get one over two minus one over three. And now that we have that S sub two, we can see that this sum collapses. We can sort of push it together in the sense that this negative one half and that positive one half so, so just as with the collapsible telescope, only the eyepiece and the lens remain. S sub three continues this pattern. It gives us a plus one third, and a minus one fourth. And this sum, this telescope collapses. The one halves cancel 
And now the one thirds cancel. And this pattern repeats itself. S sub five is going to be one minus S sub five, skip the number. S sub four is going to be one minus one over five. S sub five is going to be one minus one over six. S sub n. is going to be one minus one over n plus one. And now if you want, let's go back here and replace that partial sum with the series we're actually looking at. Um, that infinite series by definition is the limit as n goes to infinity of these partial sums. This bit here goes to zero and we're left with one. So this limit exists, we were able to take it and thus we were able to find that infinite series. Not only did we manage to verify that it exists, but we found what it equals, which is unusual. As I say, um, this is this is pretty specialized. It's not it's not usually going to be that helpful, but it took what five minutes to talk about an standard, a standard part of the curriculum. Um, and that brings us to the end of this section.